All right, so guys, welcome to the moment that we've all been waiting for. The grand finale of Mafia 3. I just, again, as always, I want to give you guys a huge thank you for supporting the series. For those of you that have been watching it, it's been a fantastic run. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed the entire game, even the repetitiveness. I enjoyed it. I think it was a great game. I was a little skeptical and scared going into it, thinking it was going to be too much, but I loved it. I really, really did, and I'm happy I played it. And um, <laughs> we're at the end game now. As you know, what's understood ain't got to be explained. So we're going to go take out Sal Marcano and Georgie. I've been saying this. I kind of feel like I want to take out Georgie more than Sal himself because he just seemed like such a good friend. And, well, he really wasn't. So today, he going to die with his, with his daddy. Yeah. All righty. We have arrived. Woo. Listen, the father's been talking about Lincoln Clay and the cutscenes in a very passive tense, which gives me the vibe that something probably bad happens, considering this is a mafia game. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully, my boy is doing all right. Because again, this happened a while ago. And he's about to burn this shit up. Not wasting any time, are you? <laughs> Your little rampage is going to attract attention. Attention from people I don't care to associate with. Yeah, imagine not. Thankfully, closing off your loose ends is as simple as tossing around some super grade. <laughs> with any luck, this will keep them off my ass. For a little while, anyway. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. There's still the matter of killing Georgie and Sal. You should get a kick out of hearing this. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit! Lou's dead. They found him tied to that statue of Jackson over in the French ward. He was gutted like a goddamn catfish. Jesus fucking Christ. This was that goddamn nigga Lincoln Clay. We would <laughs> not be in this fucking mess if you'd done what you were supposed to do. You were there. I shot him right in the fucking head. How once! You shot him once! I am leveraged out the ass! Called in every favor, and none of it made a goddamn difference. We're fucked. I am fucked. Oh, now that's bullshit. We still got some men. I say we hit the streets and we found that cocksucker. Every low life ball of piss in this city spills blood in the water. My blood. Do you understand? And they'd step over their own mother if it meant being the one that clipped me. I wouldn't last 10 fucking minutes out there. That's a crock of shit. You forget that you are Sal Marcano. Well, there's got to be something we can do. Die. <laughs> How about you die? Call whatever men we still have left. You're telling me to stop there at the casino. And when Lincoln Player shows up, we're gonna do everything we can to plant that goddamn nigga in the ground. Right next to us. That's what we can do. Go on, get the fuck out of here. Go! Should have known that Marcano would go to ground at the casino. You can take the bridge up there, so it's a straight shot. You know, none of this would have happened without you. <laughs> it's either this or right away in some goddamn office. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Let's get it. Let's go! Off to the casino we go. Let's get it, boys. How far are we exactly? Wow, 3,000 meters away. Interesting. Quite far. I'm excited, dude. I'm so fucking excited. It's crazy to think that Lincoln Clay took out mobs. Like, literally the entire mafia of this city by himself obviously with the help of donovan and but initially literally by himself you know little by little started recruiting other people but i don't know it just seems kind of crazy it's weird too because in other mafia games you have typically you have partners that you do jobs with you know in mafia 2 you have joe and um the other guy that i forgot his name which i actually feel ashamed of myself for uh, forgetting his name remember that they killed him in the in the middle of the park. You know who I'm talking about. 
And then in Mafia 1, you have two, two, three characters in total. So. Opening soon. <laughs> oh, God. You're not opening shit. Nothing, man. You're dying. Look at how many men. Find Georgie. <laughs> With pleasure. Oh. Yo, hold on. I didn't get any help. I didn't get any health, dude. I gotta get health. I need to get them shots. Very important. You want something? You let oh. me know what you got. Oh, Business. for sure. What is this? Do we have anything new here? Yeah, let's go through the top. Ain't worth our time. Let him run. Shit. Check the other side. Bro, there's no way they know I'm here. What is this? Huh? You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Come here, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> You're all fucking dead now. I'm going to take off the top first. You got to you got to take out the bird's eyes and then take off the legs. I just made that up, by the way. But you see, right now, I'm in the zone, baby. I'm in the fucking zone. You're all gonna die. He did. There's another guy all the way towards the end. Shit. Perfect. Now, if, if shit does hit the fan, I, I, I will gladly go ape shit. But if it doesn't, then I'm totally okay with just taking them out like this. Did I just pull that shit off? Oh my goodness. Eee, Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. Kill Georgie. Oh, Sal's gonna be fucking pissed. What they getting paid for? I ain't come here to watch someone else do all the work. I came here to bury that cocksucker. Just like we said. Careful, Yo. Yeah? I ain't the one you need to be worried about. Bro, to think that he was our friend, man. What the freaking heck? What an asshole. What a fucking piece of garbage. All right, so we're going to sneak on by. Paradiso. I don't know if that's even a word. Is that like an Italian word like for paradise? Because Spanish is called paraiso. Paradiso? Where it could be paradiso? And maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. Got him. Oh, God. Shit, that would have fucked me up. All right, that's one. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's in here. Yeah, he's in here. Ah, this is where it's at. I think. I'm not sure. I mean, this looks like a VIP of any. Fucking piece of shit. Uh, 
Hell yeah. Let's go. You stupid motherfucker. I always thought you were my friend. That you had me and Ellis's backs. It was just an act. You didn't kill me because I said no. You killed me because you thought you owned me. Owned all of us. It was never about us. About my old man. My father. I did anything for him. Same as you and Sammy. Then you understand why I have to do this. <laughs> Bro. Bro. He's killed every single one of them. He is insane. Make sure he's dead now, please. Marcano. He's the only little shit upstairs, huh? Look at this casino, dude. Holy smokes. This would have been a fucking gold mine. Who's that? Is that dang is this his office? Jesus Christ, dude. Wow, overlooking the entire city. Hell of a side, ain't it? When I first come to this town, it was nothing more than a backwater shithole. Now look at it. Let me see your hands. Whatever was between us is over, you understand? It ended the second it was you coming up them stairs instead of my son. You want a drink? All right. I had this imported from Scotland. <laughs> Single malt. Now, usually I'm a bourbon man, but I figured I'd order something with a little more class for when the casino opened. Not much of a chance of that happening now, is it? Don't look that way. Take a seat. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, not bad. I think I still prefer shine. You know, a month or so after my brother Lucho died, I started having nightmares. I had this one where I was on a boat. A giant wave come, knock my ass overboard. I hit that water and sink like a goddamn rock. There was another one where cotton mouths biting me all to hell. But the one that really got to me was Georgie's funeral. Damn, so he kind of knew already. He's laid out in that shitty little casket. Neck cut, same as Lucho's. Yeah, that one really got to me. It'll come around again every three or four days. I have one where I'm back in Nam, sleeping in a foxhole. All of a sudden, these dark figures come out of the shadows. I try to fight them off, but they hold me down, tie my hands together, stuff a muddy rag in my mouth so I can't scream, can't warn the men sleeping next to me. And then I got to listen as all those men die. Imagine that's not going to go away anytime soon. No. I imagine it won't. And then this. This was all to try to keep mine from coming true. Look how that turned out. I buried a lot of people. 
More than I can count. He's got his gun right there, too. That cold ground was my son. An idiot we are. Ask about Sammy, dude. Fuck. Yes. Here we are. My son is dead. And I'm having a drink with his killer. Now, I'm not going to apologize for what I did. You understand? If I did, I'd just be lying. I don't have it in me to feel shame for the things I've done to others. Never have. Didn't come here for an apology. Nah. <laughs> I know you did. Goddamn, I was right about you, wasn't I? <laughs> I knew it the second I fucking saw you at the country club. Men like us, we're just wired up wrong. There's only one thing we know. One thing we're good at. I'm gonna be waiting for you, Lincoln Clay. This won't be the last time we see each other. I know. What? What are you waiting for? Fucking do it. Finish this, you fucking coward. You just gonna fucking stand there? Fuck it. Bring it! <gasps> Fuck you! most badass shit <laughs> that is crazy i i i thought i screwed everything up i thought that i wasn't gonna be able to assassinate him so i i, I restarted the game and it, i'm so happy it let me do that we got a couple of assassinations there and <laughs> you already know like a gangster should that was actually excellent that was that was so beautiful do not try that at home, kids, okay? Just don't. That was great. That was fucking great. What the hell is this? Yo, is that Lee? Yo, that's Leo. Oh, what the fuck is he doing here? I take it you're Lincoln Clay. Oh my God. Tell me. I told Sal this fucking casino would be the end of it. I meant to trigger it to play. Shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off the wrong person. <laughs> you know who I am, son? Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. What the fuck? <laughs> Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and anybody else that had anything to do with this. What happened here was between me and Marcano. Well, I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. They see Sally up pile of shit. 
They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to deliver a message. You made your point, son. This all ends right here. Right now. I got no quarrel with y'all. Once a month, Sal kicked up 20% of his net cash only. Same man's been delivering it for, oh, I don't know, 40 years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, do you? No, sir. Well, in exchange, you run things as you see fit. I want to sell heroin, I want a whorehouse on every other corner. Makes no fucking difference to me. The only thing that matters is 20%. Oh, my God. What if I decide to walk away? Ah. Leave all this behind. Then this will be the last time we see each other. Yo, they came strapped, though. Best of luck to you, son. I like that they made a connection, dude. I fucking I like that. Yo, he looks like Joe. Before they bury you. Oh my God. God, this is freaking awesome. Oh my god, this has been insane. Wow. I can't believe. Oh, I cannot believe Leo is part of the story. Obviously, he's, he's you know, the commission. And he's also in a, in a different part. He's like in a different, you know, his family is located somewhere else. Just like Mafia 2 was located somewhere else. And just like Mafia 1 was located somewhere else. But the fact that these characters are connecting, I love it. Oh my God, that's freaking awesome. That was so fucking sick. See him pull, just come out of that car was like, oh, cause that's a, a, that's a scary motherfucker right there. I'm telling you. And he's he looks a lot older, but not really considering how young Vito was and the, uh, and the second one and that guy and Leo was already old. He almost looks better than fucking Vito. <laughs> then again, Vito looks like shit in this game. Oh, that was so great. I think this this story was... And that ending, that was a fucking ending. I mean, we haven't gotten to the ending yet. Oh, shit. We haven't gotten to the ending yet, but... At least that death. Taking out Sal was cool, and then that cutscene. Oh, that was fucking phenomenal. Talk to Donovan and Father James. Here we go. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Him and Georgie both. <laughs> it's the best news I've heard in ages. Can we get an amen, Padre? So what happens now? What do you mean what happens now? It's over, done, finished. I ain't talking to you. Just cause Sal Marcano's dead, Lincoln, doesn't mean it's over. Now, what you did and the size of it all, you created a storm in this here city, and it's gonna take a long time for it to dissipate, if it ever does. With Marcano dead, New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. The point of this wasn't to replace Marcano, it was to remove him. This city's done gone through enough. It doesn't need another you, South Marcano. You, this city? You've got to be fucking kidding me. This city is a cesspool. 
It's where people come to fuck and drink. And <laughs> <laughs> I might have to change the audio here a little bit because there's some music in the background. If it ain't gonna be me, it's gonna be somebody else. Probably somebody worse. Hey, man. <sighs> <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck. We lost him. <laughs> oh, so maybe he moves. <clears throat> well, it ain't too late, Lincoln. You can still go. Go. Yo, what if part four? What if? I'd love to stay here and debate the merits of one crime boss over another, but I've got a script that's peep. Word of advice, though: the scumbags you've been working with, kill them, all of them. Bury them before they bury you, buddy. I think Lincoln ends up going to California then because just the way the father talks in the current time cutscenes as past tense, it's either he's dead or he's just no longer in that area. God forgive me for standing by you through all this, Lincoln. But if you do anything except leave, you're finished. You hear? A man soul can only carry so much. My is on the verge of breaking. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to say leave. Considering that the father speaks about Lincoln Clay in past tense, meaning that the good ending would imply that... You are supposed to leave. Besides, I, I, I think it's better. Like, we're, we don't have any business here anymore, you know? There's nothing here for Lincoln at all. Oh, dude, I think that was Joe Barbaro, bro. Like, what was it that? Was that his last? Man. The thing is, the, the, it, the, the, that cutscene didn't focus on him. And then at the end, it kind of focused just a little bit. So it's like, why would it even do that? Make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, it, it's... Bro, does that means that he's alive? He didn't die. Dude, what the hell happened then? I wonder if that's what Mafia 4 could be about. Like, what happens? After Lincoln vanished, Vito Scaletta took over the city. Oh, yeah? They spit on Sal Marcano's grave <laughs> one last time by actually doing what Marcano couldn't. Finishing oh, he casino. finished the casino? Now, two years later, Scaletta opened another casino, and then it was just yeah. an avalanche of development. <laughs> oh, shit. Hotels. My boy thrived. Arenas. <laughs> Let's go. The new convention center. I mean, today everyone knows this place as the Las Vegas of the South, but the whole damn thing was built on bodies Lincoln Clay left behind with blood money he and his lieutenants stole from the mob. Wow. So Vito fucking oh He still lives in that penthouse at the top of Marcano's casino, looking out over the city he owns. Oh shit. After San Marcano's death. Lincoln Clay disappeared. <laughs> wow. The Bureau deprioritized the investigation after a few months, but uh, I keep an active file. Yo. In 1971, I tracked him to a California shipyard where he was working under an assumed name. By the time we got there, though, he was gone. Uh, the trail went cold, and by 77, 78, I figured he was dead. But then I got a report of someone matching his description working with the Colombians. Since then, uh, there's a new sighting of him every couple of years. Lincoln made it out to California. Worked at the shipyards for a few years. Met him a woman. <laughs> Seemed like he was going to get married, but... Oh, it, man. It all came apart. Don't know why. And he started moving around. 
He went to Alaska, New York, South America. What the he hell? He went back to Vietnam. Dude. <laughs> oh, I said I'm a postcard. <laughs> I still get postcards from time to time. Wow. Dude, what happened? Well, I think Lincoln wasn't able to uh, accept the world for what it is or his place in it. Wow. What an ending, bro. Yo, what a fucking ending. Holy smokes. Someday, he's going to get tired of running or make a mistake. And I'll be waiting. I promise you that. You'll be dead. You're old as fuck, dude. It's hard to break it to you. You really start like towards the end. You really appreciate Lincoln as a character. Like you really actually. He was a good character, man. It, it's it's hard to compete against Tommy and, and, and Vito and heck even Joe because he was a secondary character, but he was such an important character in Mafia 2 that he felt like a lead character as well. But by the end of the story, like at the beginning, you're just like, eh, he's just a big old fucking dude to just decapitate everybody but at the end of the day at the end of the story once you finish it you really come around and he's a good character that was exceptionally good like i felt like this game besides everything that you have to do to grind for the story missions it was a phenomenal game like i i, I really really think that the game is it's great i had a i had a, I had a really fun time thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it as always, if you'd like to see another game here on the channel that we haven't played, let me know in the comments below. Oh, God, this was so good. All right. Well, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching again. And hopefully I will catch you guys on the next one. Let me ask you something. Senator. Where were you when John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated? I don't remember. At home, I believe. I don't remember. At home, I believe. <laughs> Let me tell you where I was. A muddy hut in Vietnam. Slowly dismembering an old woman, cutting her apart bit by bit. And do you know why? Because her son was an NVA officer. And hurting her was the only way to make him talk. I don't understand what this has to do with... What he told with... us saved the lives of an entire platoon. That's 42 men. Men that lived another day because I was willing to take a saw to that old woman. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. I believe that. Sit down and just shut the fuck up. Oh. I did a lot of terrible shit over there. In the name of this country. Shit that will haunt me for the rest of my life. But I did it. Because I believed in the fight. I believed what this nation stood for. So, to be sitting there ass deep in mud with that old woman scattered all around me. And hearing that the president of the United States had just been fucking murdered. Well, I knew right then and there that I couldn't let that stand. That I would find a way to make it right no matter how long it took. What are you saying? I'm saying... Oh, oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> obviously that's fictional. Oh, what the fuck is happening here?
Oh! What the freaking heck just happened? Oh my god!